Hi, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. So this afternoon I'm going to be doing another unboxing. Um, it's the second one of this month of April and it is from Pink Parcel. So this arrived this morning. Um, I'm actually off work today, which is wonderful. Um, but is it wonderful? Um, I'm supposed to be on leave from Monday. So I literally booked two weeks off from Monday. Um, you know, because I've just been really killing it with my hours at work and my body has been physically, physically knackered. Um, yesterday I had some pains that started to develop throughout the day, particularly in my legs and my hands. And I knew there was a problem, but you know, I just carried on at work. So I was there until what, quarter past seven last night, came home. And when I came home, it's like my body literally gave up on me, literally gave up on me. This morning I woke up and I was in incredible pain. And today was supposed to be my last day. And I was just literally going to finish off the last of my audits today. Yeah, I've had to call in sick today, which is not great. But I'm now feeling a lot better. I've showered, put on a bit of slap, put on a bit of makeup. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do this unboxing. So my daughter picked up this parcel when it came to the door this morning before she went to college. So let's unbox it. So what do we know about Pink Parcel? Right, Pink Parcel is a, a, a monthly subscription box. Um, the regular subscription price is £12.99. If you've been a long-term subscriber, you, you'll be paying £10.50, which I am paying at the moment. But Pink Parcel has been going through a few challenges over the last few months. I would say since, what, October, November last year, the quality of the boxes went down significantly. We started getting a lot of repeats. People were missing things from their parcels. It just went downhill. Then the owner sent an email. Um, oh, when did he send it? Beginning of this year, he sent an email basically saying that um, he's taking back control of the company. Um, so it's not going to be, it's a monthly thing now. It's going to be, I think it's called I Art UK or something like that name of the company is now. Those of us who are regular subscribers, what we've been receiving in our beauty boxes is just a lot of um, repeats from last year and probably sort of 2017. So it looks like they've just literally been clearing out the warehouses. So all the stuff they've taken from the, the old warehouse from when it was, um, it's a monthly thing warehouse, they've just been throwing into the beauty boxes. So they haven't been giving us the leaflet card inside the box, which details all the products off the, off the box. And that's mainly because, in my opinion, um, it's because they've just been putting in things which they've got enough stock on to give to the subscribers. So they can't really create a card because it literally has been just old stock. So originally the pink parcel boxes came in those grey boxes. Now the boxes are coming in the pink parcel cosmopolitan box. Now the pink parcel cosmopolitan box was a new subscription they started last year. Um, it was a subscription that cost £19.99. I don't think it took off very well. So they're obviously just going to continue to use this packaging because to be honest it's a ni it's nicer packaging they're still using the old um, bags which they put in they which they put the um, sanitary towels in um, and they're just bunching all, all of those things in that same sanitary bag now they used to give us three bags for our sanitary products so they used to give us a bag for night so the nighttime towels they used to give us or tampons they used to give us a bag for the to take you through the duration of your period and they used to give you a little bag for to put in your handbag now they just give us a box for the duration of your period and they give us a, a, a bag um, which has your panty liners, your sort of some daytime towels and some nighttime towels in there as well. And then they give us a, a box for the for your treats. So that's what they do now and that fits into this star box. So the um, the owner of the company, he did send a, an email, as I said, he sent an email explaining what's been going on with the company, he apologised for the way standards have slipped, and he did say that things would start to improve come March, April. So March's box was better, it was much better. There were still some repeat products from last year, but there was products that, you know, they're, they're all right, they were decent quality products. So let's see what April is, because I'm hoping that this month it is a lot better quality products. So let's see what we've got. Um... I haven't received an email because one of the things they did say, they did say they were going to send us emails now of the products that are going to be inside the box, which I actually don't like. I like to sort of open a box and get a surprise. I don't want to know ahead of time what's going to be inside my box. So I didn't get that email. So I'm hoping there's either a leaflet or some information in here about the 
back the products in the box or I get an email at some point today so I know what's going on. So let's have a look and see what we got. So tear open like this. As I said the box costs £12.99 or £10.50 for an old time subscriber. There you go. So here you go, you've got this bag here, which, which is filled with your nighttime towels, panty liners. It's absolutely stuffed and sort of towels. So these are nighttime ones. These are the sort of regular daytime ones. And you've got some panty liners there. So it's absolutely packed and it's easy enough to take you through your period. Then you've got this box here, which is just the rest of your regular daytime towels. Yep, so that's fine. But the box we're really all interested in is this box, which they now call Once. It used to be called Treats, but now it's called Once. And this is all the treat stuff. And this is where we hope that you get your value for your box. So if you're paying £12.99, you've got your towels there, which is probably, what, say £2, £3. So we're looking for at least £10 worth of value inside this box. So let's see what we got. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is that there isn't a leaflet. So I'll just go through and see what we have. And what I'll do, um, I'll have to add through later the value of the products. Okay, so we've got a packet here of wipes from Dr. Organics, Bio Bioactive Skincare um, Wet Wipes. Oh, so wet wipes, they're not cleansing face wipes. They're literally just wet wipes, which is good because you could use that to freshen up, you know, down there or under here if you get a bit hot and sweaty. So these will be useful, so that's good. Um, yeah, this is actually useful. I mean, I haven't got a problem with that. Um, okay, so it's fragrance free. It's two in one, refreshing and soothing. Convenient and cleansing, packed with bioactive organic properties, a refreshingly different organic wipe. Dr. O. Just hoping to see if there's any other information. Um, it's free from parabens, SLS, synthetic colours, DEA, phthalates, petroleatum, glycols, BHT, ice, oh, bloody hell, isothizalinones, mineral oil and silicones. Um, and they say organic aloe vera is rich in soothing polysaccharides. Each individual, each individual wet wipe is enriched with bioactive properties naturally formulated to quickly soothe, cleanse and refresh the face and hands. So you can actually use it for your face as well. So it's just a, a general wet wipe. So it's okay. So it should be gentle enough to be able to use on your face. But obviously if you've got sensitive skin, do a patch test. So that's the first item in the box. Next we've got this from Daily Concepts and it seems like it's a body sponge, it is. It's Daily Concepts Exfoliating Body Scrubber with Smart Technology. So you've got three versions. You've got Gentle, Mild and Vigorous. Hope you can see that there. Can you see that? So we've got Mild. Um, so literally, it's just a just a body scrub really we believe that good thoughts attract good things and that getting clean inside and out is definitely a good thing we know we can't always control what happens in life but we can control our reaction and most of the times we find that a shower or a bath will lead us to the solution yeah fair enough I mean I know I go into a shower literally just to clear my head and refresh um, we work to inspire and get inspired delivering daily concepts and everyday products that enhance the human experience we are here to change the world you're your world one shower at a time okay clean is a state of mind so it's cruelty free as well because it's got a little bunny on it so there you go so you've just got a cleansing schedule and it looks like you can use it several times so that's all good it's not a one use only item here's our chocolate let's have a look so we always get a little sweet treat because you know when you're on your period you always have that craving for a snack usually something sweet i know some people like something savory but when I started my period, I always want a sweet snack. So we've got this. Hopefully it's milk chocolate. Let's have a look. The little one, seeds and bean, organic, fine dark chocolate, sweet orange and thyme. 58% mm. cocoa. So it's not too bad, actually, because 70% is usually that really good quality, pure dark chocolate. And 58% isn't too bad. 
Um, I mean, this box has actually arrived late for me because I usually get the box at the end of the month, end of the previous month or the first couple of days of the new month because that's when my period starts. My period always starts sort of around the 30th, uh, second of the month. So this box is actually late and I've finished my period at the beginning of this week. So here's the chocolate because I feel like a bit of chocolate. Yeah, here we go. It's not too bad actually, it's alright. It's not too bitter, so if you're like me and you don't like dark chocolate, this one you can probably be alright with. And it's got a nice orange taste. What's the date on it? Yeah, it's got a good shelf life and it's I'm just making sure that it's not old stock again. So it's April next year. So it's it's got a year's shelf life in it, so it's all good. We always get a hot beverage in the in the bag as well. And this is a brand I actually quite like. We get this brand quite a lot. It's T Plus. And you've got different flavour teas. So this one is malty and it's lemon and peach green tea and vitamins. Smarter tea, that sounds nice actually. Okay, we've got a product here from, um, what do you call it? Handy Mercy. So it's, it's usually their little hand sanitizers. I quite like these products. They're nice to put in your pocket. They usually got a nice fragrance. What I don't like about them, I wish they were antibacterial as well, and they're not. So it's just literally a hand cleanser, but it's not antibacterial, which is I think would be really much more useful. Unless this one is, so let me just check before I run my mouth off. So Mercy Handy, and it's a Charlie Cherry fragrance, hand cleansing gel. Oh Lord. Yeah, it's not it's not an antibacterial product, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to put in your hands to clean, but as I said, I, I think it'd be more useful if it had antibacterial properties it's it's have a oh wow so it's um very fragrant oh gosh it's, it's a nice fragrance um and yeah it's got a slight cherry artificial cherry fragrance so yeah it's okay i personally wouldn't put this in my bag um i'll put, give it to my daughter basically because of the kind of work i do or i go to food premises i want something that's got antibacterial proper sanitizing pro um, qualities and this isn't a sanitizing product i want something that's going to get rid of the bacteria and germs basically now right, we've also got in here a little strangely wrapped it looks like it's a perfume fragrance maybe perfume sample oh how strange so it's got um, Fiat 500 C and it's for her. You see that? All right. Strange little thing. So it's a little fragrance sample. Probably something they got, they picked up free from somewhere. They just put it in the box. Um, which is a shame because you know, we used to get nice perfumes from Pink Parcel. From that company, what was it called? Was it English Laundry or something like that? So you get these nice handbag size perfumes. They were like proper bottles of perfume is really really nice and they had a decent value of like sort of 30 to 60 pounds some of these fragrances really nice perfumes so these little things because you no know, you can get these free from anywhere so it's not the same as getting a proper handbag perfume so this one is um so it's fit 500 which is just weird as i said it's an eau de toilet so it's not even a decent quality one it, at least give us no de perfume you know what i mean um Vapor is a natural spray. Top notes of pink pepper, mandarin, lychee. Heart is gardens, jasmine, magnolia. And a dry down, when it settles down, is cedarwood, heart, cedarwood, heart, Virginia, sandalwood, white moss. So the sort of base notes, I call the dry down, I call it base notes, are actually my kind of fragrances. So let me spray a little bit of this on and see what it's like. I haven't got any perfume on. All right, so we'll leave that to dry down for a bit. And the final, okay, the initial fragrance isn't too bad, actually. Um, and the final one we've got is a face mask, which is interesting. So this is from Incredible. So this is a new product. So Incredible, um, right, so they're from the Nails Ink Company. So that's the original company. Nails Ink, you do nail varnishes and stuff, which is what I've got here, which needs to be replaced. Um, it's one of my favourite nail polishes. I like OPI Nails Ink. They're my two ones. And I like a bit of Leighton Denny as well. So um, they branched out and started doing lip products. So like, um, you, so you might see these lip glazes and things. You might see in some beauty boxes. Really nice lip products. And they have these um, quench ones as well. So these are like 
incredible first quenches and they've got clear ones with little flowers in the in the design of the of the product um so now it looks like they've got into sheet masks as well so we're going into skincare so this is a raw some toning sheet mask for normal to combination skin i've got oily skin enriched with caviar and superfood extracts Ooh, 20 mil and they say leave it on for 15 minutes 50 minutes to fabulous. <laughs> yeah, 50 minutes to fab. Right, so Rawson Toning Sheet Mask. Fierce ladies rejoice, you've met your match. This special formulation of caviar superfood extracts works to tighten pores, tone and depuff. You'll be cute as a kitten in no time. So it's enriched with caviar superfood extracts. It, extracts it brightens tightens and reduces inflammation for toned firm skin instruction for use apply to clean dry skin remove the mask from the sachet and gently unfold carefully place the mask over your face ensuring even contact to the skin allow 15 minutes remove the mask and gently massage excess liquid into the skin no need to rinse off okay so this is definitely a new product so actually this box is not bad because it is filled with products i haven't received before from Pink Parcel and I've been with Pink Parcel about two years so I think I can speak of a little bit of a little bit of authority on the matter so that's a nice new product like that this is okay I'll give this to my daughter especially as I'm not getting a Betty box anymore um, as I said I wish it had um, antibacterial properties um, I like this because my my body scrunchie is actually looking a bit knackered now so I'll replace it with this to use in the shower Nice to have cleansing wipes. I think these are always useful, and especially if I'm doing makeup products and stuff, I'm trying products out, so I can keep this down here for when I do my lipsticks and swatches and things like that. Nice tea, so that's all good. Um, this perfume is actually drying down to smell quite nice, actually. So um, it's actually quite a nice, light, feminine fragrance um but it's not so feminine because the i can i can start to smell the base notes in it so it's not too bad so okay all right I and mean, you'll get a couple of uses out of that and the chocolate's not too bad either wish it was milk chocolate but because it's 58 percent, it's not too bitter so it's actually all right so i'm probably going to continue eating that with a cup of tea in a minute i'll probably have this with it as a cup of tea so overall it's not a bad box this month not a bad box at all is it worth to me 10 pound 50 yes is it worth 12.99 you know what? Is it worth twelve ninety nine? I don't know. Um, it's it's clearly not the high value box they're used to getting. So things have changed. This is I'm definitely picking up on that perfume. We would have got a proper perfume, full size perfume to put in our handbags, and they said we've only got a sample. So that's a difference straight away. So obviously they're still. It looks like Pink Parcel are still working at their contracts and negotiations of products. Um, so I, I will continue with them. I am wondering over a month to month, but I don't know. I don't know. If you've got your Pink Parcel, let me know what you think. Um, I know a lot of you have unsubscribed from Pink Parcel, so you're watching those of us who are still getting the box to see if it's worthwhile jumping into Pink Parcel yet. I would suggest, which just seems weird for me to say that, I will suggest I still wouldn't come back into Pink Parcel yet. I'm still going to keep monitoring. So for those of us who are still buying it, rely on us to um to to show you on youtube how the boxes are doing and then if we think the boxes are better i'm sure we'll tell you but i wouldn't resubscribe yet that's my personal opinion i'd i'd hold on see if there's any improvements as yet but if you want to subscribe hey go ahead i've got a, a referral code down below after saying all of that i've got a referral code down below so if you want to subscribe use it and you'll get i think you get five pound off your first box so you'll get the box for 7.99 instead of 12.99 it's up to you personally i would hold back but there you go it's up to you all right thanks very much for watching Take care and I will see you soon. All right.